For me, I definitely wanted a humanities background. One, classics was the most bang for your buck humanities major. It's kind of the basis for all humanities studies going forward. So it was a, a foreign language, it was history, it was political science, it was literature, philosophy, religion. So I thought I was in one major, able to learn a lot, cover a lot of topics, gain a lot of perspective, and, and I think that the classics creates the perfect environment for that at Duke. After my freshman year, I did an archaeological dig through Duke that was in Sicily. I knew very little about archaeology, or Sicily for that matter, uh, but it was, it was one of the best experiences of my college career. Now as a senior, I think I can confidently say that. And then I also went to the Centro, the Intercollegiate Center for Classical Studies. Uh, we took an ancient history class, and then I took Greek and Latin. And that was really, really great to have the chance to just be with 40 classics nerds who were so into it, uh, but so was I. So it felt like, you know, being like home or something. I was in a class with Professor Woods where we were reading uh, Roman drama of like Plautus and Terence. And then at the end of the semester, we ended up performing. We had to translate our own part of the play and then perform it and we actually set a performance in the Duke Gardens and we were making the costumes. It just helps you engage in the content in a very different way that makes it more real to you. Um, so that's something that I really enjoyed but I think the interpersonal aspect of it is, is the most important component to me. I actually started working at the Chronicle around the same time I became a classics major at Duke um, and I knew that I really loved journalism but I also really loved the classics. It turns out they're actually very similar uh, I think the classics have taught me certainly how to synthesize material. I mean, a lot of the classics is about figuring out how, how one source goes with another thing and how this passage in Greek might translate in English and, you know, how once you figure that out, what does that mean for the period that you're studying? And I think that's a lot of what journalism is, too. It's a lot of someone says this, someone says that. How do you put them all together in the context of the issue? Given that classics is a, such a diverse major where you're touching on a lot of things, it also attracts a diverse group of people. The major classics majors that were my year, you have people that are studying to be an archaeologist. You have a, another girl who's working for the Rhodes Scholar Society, someone else who's in law school. I have the third runner-up in the Miss USA pageant. Um, as someone else in medical school, I work in finance. So it's just a diversity of people with a diver diverse group of interests that are all pulling something out of classics and it's all different. Classics is like the birth of all knowledge, right? So you basically just go forward from there and I think having that as a basis was really, really important to me and has definitely framed my journalism career.